Roller coasters are often divided into many terms, and one of those terms is a shuttle coaster. A shuttle coaster is a form of roller coaster that travels to the end of its layout and then repeats it all again in reverse. Sometimes the term is misunderstood by any coaster that goes both forwards and backwards, but that simply isn't true. It's a very specific definition, but there are some really unique shuttle coasters that I've had the chance to experience, and in this video we'll be counting down my top 10. Before we dive into the list, let me quickly remind you all that if you'd like to voice your support, a like and subscription down below is the best way to do so. It seriously means the world to me, and it makes creating content like this more than worth it. But with that being said, let's begin the list. These are the top 10 shuttle coasters I've ever ridden. Number 10, Rewind Racers at Adventure City. Kicking off the list is a ride that gets very little recognition in the coaster enthusiast community. Rewind Racers is a Gerslauer family coaster that can be found at a small park just down the road from Knott's Berry Farm. I first rode it in 2018 and then got to check it out once more in 2021 since my friend needed the credit. Now usually I wouldn't have done something like that if I already had the credit, but I decided to do it because this is actually a great little ride. It's perfect for this park since it's more meant for kids and families, but even older guests like myself can get a real kick out of Rewind Racers. So if you ever find yourself visiting knots and seeking some additional coaster credits, this one should be really easy to get and worth it too. Number 9, Intamin Halfpipe Coasters at Various Parks. This cloned coaster model can be found at many parks all around the world, including three in the United States. I've personally run in two of these three, with Timmy's Halfpipe Havoc at New Jersey's American Dream Mall and Avatar Airbender at Minnesota's Mall of America. These rides have very simple layouts with a U-shape and swing launch back and forth. In addition, there's also spinning seats, so your ride may vary depending on several factors. For me, I got two rides on Timmy's and was fairly underwhelmed by the model. It just wasn't spinning all too much, so it felt relatively boring. But just recently, I got around to Avatar Airbender and I thought it was a whole lot better. So never judge one of these coasters off of just one or two rides because it'll usually be different every time. And I'm telling you, when you catch a good ride on any of them, you're in for a really great time. Number 8, Sea Serpent at Maury's Piers. I know what you're thinking, how can the notorious Vekoma Boomerang make this list? Well, they didn't. Only one that I've ridden was good enough to make the list, and that's one of the originals dating back to 1984. But this ride is proof that age doesn't matter as long as you put in the proper maintenance. Maury's Piers has genuinely taken great care of the ride, and this includes adding Vekoma vest restraints and smoother track in 2020. Nowadays, the ride runs very smooth and is pretty comfortable, so you can actually appreciate the ride's fantastic positive g-forces. In my opinion, Maury's Piers should be a role model for every Every park with a Vekoma boomerang because this coaster is genuinely an awesome ride. Number 7, Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm. The Schwarzkopf Shuttle Loop is a dying breed of a roller coaster, and as of this video's recording, only one remains in North America. The ride consists of a very simple layout, launch, loop, spike, and then do it all again in reverse. But Schwarzkopf has always been known for their incredibly intense circular loops, which is a big selling point for Montezuma's Revenge. To experience one of these loops backwards in addition to a rare flywheel launch is really unique. Now sure, the ride is over before you know it, but the fact that it stood the test of time like this is fantastic. It's still smooth, still intense, and still fun, so generally speaking, Montezuma's Revenge is highly recommended. Number 6, Intamin Impulse Coasters at Various Parks. Just like the half-pipe clones that we talked about earlier, Impulse Coasters can be found at several parks, most of which are in the United States. Currently, I've ridden three of these, which include the recently defunct Wicked Twister at Cedar Point, Possessed at Doherty Park, and Steel Venom at Valley Fair. Now, all of these have their own minor differences, like how Steel Venom has its holding brake and how Wicked Twister has its twisting back spike. But generally speaking, these are all more or less the same and all provide intense ride experiences. As with many of these shuttle coasters, Impulse Coasters are over pretty quickly, but the pure fun that they pack in is exceptional. Ever since I read my first one of these in 2018 with Possessed, I've always found them to be underrated and I still stand by that today. Number 5, Superman Escape from Krypton at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Another underrated roller coaster is also the third tallest in the world. I'm not kidding, this thing is over 400 feet tall. Now despite its incredible height and its max speed of 100 miles per hour, it's truly one of the shortest coasters in the world. All it does is blast you forwards or backwards depending on the side you're riding on, up into a gigantic spike and back down in reverse. It's literally as simple as a shuttle coaster gets and also defines its meaning as well. But the reason it clocks in so high is because a front row ride on Superman is unbelievable. The launch's acceleration is just okay, but what I mean is when you're declining the spike like on the backward side, you come face to face with outrageous speeds. I guarantee you that your cheeks will flap from how severe the wind in your face feels. It's one of the best feelings on any coaster up front, but unfortunately it's done before you know it. Nonetheless, it's an underrated ride because coaster enthusiasts fail to recognize how surreal a front row ride feels on this thing. Next time you head to Magic Mountain, I urge you to give it a shot. Number 4, Switchback at ZDT's Amusement Park. Located about an hour outside of San Antonio, Texas is one of the more unique shuttle coasters on this list. The ride is actually the only wooden shuttle coaster in the world. Now this might seem impossible because a wooden coaster can't usually have a launch. Well, except for Lightning Round, but we don't talk about that. 
So how is it that this coaster climbs back up its drop and back down its lift hill backwards? That just doesn't really make sense, does it? Well, you would be right, because that's impossible. Instead, there's a switch track right after the drop that takes the train into the station, resulting in a fully functioning shuttle coaster with a lift hill. But what about the rest of the ride? How's the layout? Let me tell you, it's great. Its compact elements are exceptional forwards and confusing backwards. It's a ride that only speaks to the masterminds over at Gravity Group, and the company just did an amazing job fitting in such a unique ride into one of the smallest parks I've been to. So hats off to them because I don't think many other coaster manufacturers would have been able to pull something like this off. Number three, Bullet at Selva Mexica. One of my proudest coaster credits resides on the outskirts of Mexico's second biggest city, Guadalajara. Bullet is the largest roller coaster in the state of Jalisco and is also one of the biggest in all of Mexico. The coaster cracks the top three for a number of reasons, including its layout, uniqueness, and forces. The coaster is actually somewhat similar to Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm, but the layout is instead bent into a figure eight layout. This was done due to the ride's original purpose to be compact enough so that it could be transported from fair to fair or park to park. As a result of its compactness and design, the ride is super intense, super creative and offers a ride experience that differs from any other in the world. The ride model was actually only ever built once and it's had a long life traveling throughout Europe and North America. If you wish to experience Bullet's layout, the only way to do so is to head down to Guadalajara like I did. Number two, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast at Six Flags Over Texas and Six Flags St. Louis. This incredible launch coaster can be found at two different locations, but offer the same exact ride experience. If you ask me, it's amazing that this ride was cloned because it is a prime example of a technologically advanced roller coaster. It uses a backwards LIM launch, a 218 foot tall spike, a vertical booster launch, and unique elements like an inverted top hat. The ride experience is so intense and disorienting that it'll leave you questioning which way is up and which way is down. So if you haven't ridden one of these before, make it a point to do so by heading to Texas and Missouri. Number one, Aftershock at Silverwood. Speaking of complicated roller coasters, Aftershock is a ride that leaves me scratching my head. It's a humongous take on the traditional Vacoma boomerang, which is already technologically impressive to be honest. The ride is so large, and because of this, it ramps up the intensity by 100 compared to the regular boomerangs. It has some super disorienting elements, and it's also smoother than the regular boomerangs, which is mostly due to Silverwood's incredible maintenance team. Now, this is also a cloned coaster that you can find at several other parks, but if you are one of the 75% of viewers who live in America, your next best bet will be Spain, China, or Russia. It's not at all an easy coaster to come by, but as with Mr. Freeze, it's amazing that it's been cloned at all. It's honestly one of the most intense coasters I've ever been on, so even if you have to make a pretty significant journey to ride one, I promise you it'll be worth it. So there we have it, my top 10 shuttle coasters I've ever ridden. As you can see, shuttle coasters are usually pretty unique. They force manufacturers to come up with some really interesting layouts or in other situations, very simple layouts. But it's the execution that counts and the fact that matters is that all the shuttle coasters on this list are pretty awesome rides. As always, please don't forget to support the channel by liking and subscribing down below. And also don't forget to leave a comment for your favorite shuttle coasters that you've been on. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.